Welcome to Beverley in East Yorkshire. North East Yorkshire, just north of Hull. 20 minutes north of Hull. So we're going to take you on a little, uh, show you all the little country lanes that exist around here. If I can, see if I can do it without dying. Not really easy. Oh, there we go. Let him in. In the head you can see the, uh, the Beverly, Beverly Minster. This is an amazing building. Moving around the edge, keeping up with the vehicles. I can go quite fast on this little bike. Which I think you can hear is quite noisy. I'm going to turn left here. Just to steady myself. Off we go. And then we're heading down here. It's getting quite cold now. The breeze is hard on my face. Now, a lot of people will say, like well, these electric bikes, they're a massive cheat. Well, you'd be, you'd be right, they are a massive cheat. But when you're not fit at all, like I am, uh, they're a godsend for getting me out and about. And uh, it's not that it does all the work, you've got to pedal. So I'm definitely getting my heart rate up. Uh, I wish I brought my gloves now. Got to be careful, there's squashy leaves on the ground here. Uh, and there's a field that is no longer a field. Jeez. Beverly is slowly being encroached upon by modern day family houses. And these are like, you know, the cul-de-sacs and boxes that everyone has. And they're all gonna be joining onto these houses on the right. Pretty amazing. But as amazing as it is, it's also a little bit depressing because they're so sceny and all this used to be this used to be countryside where I am now. And now it's just more houses. I have to overtake this gentleman here. He totally thinks I'm cheating. He's totally right. My hands are actually freezing now. I think we're on um, about minus four, uh, not minus four, we're on four degrees. Four or five degrees, I think it is now. Maximum speed on this road is 40. I'm doing 23 miles per hour. There's no traffic behind me. I've got my mirror, check my mirror. Well, I might be wondering, why haven't you got a helmet on? That's a very good question. I should have a helmet on. Uh, I forgot it. But hopefully it's not, hopefully, well, I don't know if it's actually the law to wear a helmet or not, but uh, if it is, then apologies, officer. So this is the, uh, I think it's called Mill Lane, Long Lane. Uh, it's called Long Lane because it's a long lane. Woo! That takes you out to the countryside. My hands are literally freezing now. And I used to walk this uh, every second morning. There's a great way of getting exercise. Uh, and it's kind of just exhilarating being out in the fresh air, which is why I enjoy it. There's the, the circular road they've just built the last few years. It goes around, goes around the edges of Beverly. Horses on the left here. This is a cut through for people in the know, like that lorry. If you know this lane, you're avoiding a lot of hassle by coming down here. No traffic lights, nothing to worry about. Takes you off the main road to Hull. That's us just gone under the uh, motorway now. I used to come and fly my drone here, and I'm pretty sure all these fields will be built upon, especially the ones that haven't got crops in. But uh, I think that's just, uh, it's called progress, isn't it? <laughs> A lot of people live in this country. 
But apparently only 4% of the land is populated, I read on Twitter the other day, which is not very much, but that's because most of the land is taken up by farmland. Or if you're in Wales, mountains, and likewise in Scotland, mountains. So I used to live in the city, and I used to have a, an attitude of car coming behind me. If you're tired of London, you're tired of life. I certainly don't think that now, because you can't beat this. Relative peace and quiet. I've got like a large lorry coming down towards me, I think. Which I guess is going to happen. Oh, uh, no, they're offloading there, but looks I think. So they're reversing up. That's fine. Oh, and there's more development work going on here. Oh, Beverly. Beverly will end up joined on to Hull. Cutting them. This is the electricity uh, plant area. So they'll be needing to feed the electricity to these new houses, I would have thought. Maybe that's what's happening right there. I've worked it out. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Inspector Columbo. So I'm going to turn right here and go even remoter after those two cars. So though kind of a remote lane, just checking my mirror, indicating Going down here, it says dead end, but I know a secret, it doesn't. No access to Dogger Bank converter site. I don't know what that means. I'm going to go down here and turn right. And it's just a short little trip, this. Maybe two or three mile, maybe less. And uh, really, I'm testing out the, uh, the bike and the camera equipment. See how it copes. And of course, the mic. This is recorded in stereo, baby. And I'm interested to see if it works. And also if this is interesting. So you see me now going out. This is literally a, a road, which is access to a farm. Uh, but I bet I still find traffic down here. I don't think it joins on. I think it's a dead end. It's still a favorite for walkers and cyclists. And I'll be going down here and turning right where I'm seeing another bike peak of summer this is just gorgeous down here uh, I'm just gonna bend round to the right here past this, this girl here I thought there was bikers et etiquette you're not supposed to nod at every other bike biker that you bump into look at this how lovely and flat is this and I, and I love these roads that are kind of just <laughs> just laid across the field you know no fences or anything. Feels very, um, I don't know, French really. But this road is leading to another farm, or actually some houses, or a house and a farm. Now this house would be to die for because it's so uh, out there. But then again, I reckon all this will get built on. Some folks. He's got a horse in there, it's a lovely house. And we're coming down to another bend to the right. Just off to the left there, I think it's a farm building. Slowing down because of the mud on the track, it could be quite slippy, although I've, I've probably been a little bit too careful. More careful than I need to be because this bike is equipped to I don't know, go on the moon, I think. The size of the tread on the wheels, tires. And uh, you can see that uh, those ugly monstrosities ahead on the horizon there. That's the little, that's the boxes that they're building. The little horrible boxes. They look like uh, pieces from a Monopoly board. Characterless. And these are for families, so that makes me think, well, that means more kids are going to be coming to the town, which makes me think, well, you're going to have to build another school, aren't you? And that's what happens. And, uh, you know, then they build a church, and then they build a, a town hall, and I don't know, I don't know, well, you know it. Well, you know it. It's a city. 
but then I'll be uh, in my croft in Scotland with my helipad. That's the plan. Now, there's a, last time I came up here, these houses weren't here, by the way. They've just appeared. So I'm tempted to turn around and go back the way I've just come. Just because it's more interesting. I think I will do that, actually. And you can see the return trip from the reverse. How do you feel about that, avid viewer? So here we go, turning around, because you don't want to see a bunch of boring houses. I certainly don't. Let's go look at some more countryside, but from this angle, way Back down we go. And it's like uh, starting off all over again. Welcome to Beverly. This is the countryside of Beverly, or, or what's left of it. Got cabbages on the right and lorries on the left. Now I'm a heavy guy and I really shouldn't be on bikes. So that's why I had to buy such a heavy duty bike to cope with my, uh, uh, my bones are very heavy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And uh, this bike is very robust. Um, and I think it kind of has to be for me. But the, the result is that all my weight is on my daddy air. And even though I have three levels of suspension, it's still hurting a little bit. But there you go, that's how it is. Well, I said hello. I did my bit. So this is the uh, back of the way we came. I love that I can be like two minutes outside my house and I'm driving along roads like this. It's very muddy here, I'm taking it very slow. I'm determined for the entire lifetime of this bike to never fall off it. That's one of my favourite houses right there. Oh, got a bit of a numb bum. Here we go. Stand on the pedals for a bit, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Stop complaining. This is fun, but it comes at a price. And the price is cold hands, snivelly nose. Sore bum. But that's my fault. I've not it's just not I'm just not used to it. Maybe I need to reposition the seat, I don't know. Yeah, we're coming up, here's the, here's the farm buildings on the right, and then we're going back round to that long lane. And you can see just on the left as I go past, you see a little wooden sign, that's a public footpath, always will be, can't touch it. They're sacred, they're sacred. It'll be very, very difficult indeed for a developer to get permission to close off a public footpath, I would have thought. The Ramblers Association are very, uh, almost militant in preserving these footpaths for us to use. I'm glad of it, to be honest with you. Although I don't like the word rambling. It sounds a bit like, you, you know, you're just wobbling on, boring nonsense. Whereas, you know, when you go walking, you've got to actually be very prepared to know what you're doing. Oh. Here we go, we're coming onto the long lane now. We'll be turning left down past the power, the power plant. Nothing coming, that's the train crossing just there. Again, a bit of debris on the ground, be careful. And here we are. And this is back on long lane, heading down towards the Minster. Once more, 40 miles an hour on this road. I'm doing 22, 23, 24, woo, 26, 20, come on, come on, 28, 25, you can get, sure can get some speed out of these things. There's a cattery here on the right, you can put your cat there and they'll love it for you while you're going to holiday in and forget about it. There's a car there dutifully pulling over as far as it dare. And then just here again is the bridge we were under earlier and you can see very clearly there's traffic, heavy traffic up on it. It's a 
it's it's a it's just a normal road. It's not a dual carriageway, I don't think. Um, but yeah, that's cutting right for all these fields, and that kind of does the whole circuit of Beverly, at least half of it. Easy access to get out to Hull, Cottingham, uh, Bridlington, Driffield. Whoa, I'm going so fast, 26 miles an hour, and it's freezing. Horses here on the right. And you can tell it's winter, all the leaves have gone. And I like, I like the countryside any time of year. I like the orange of the leaves, I like the colours, I like the, um, the skeletonness, skeletonness is that a word? Of the, uh, of the trees where all the leaves have gone. It's just a cycle of life going on. On the left is uh, building houses. It's happening just about everywhere. I gave him the nod, but he looked at me disapprovingly. I think, uh, I think my lack of helmet is not impressing him. And also the fact I'm going so fast without actually pedaling. I am very keen to get back now. Hey, entering the 30, and I'm just under the speed limit. Oh, it's cold. My hands are it's literally freezing. I don't want you to worry about me, though. I know you are. You're sitting there in the comfort of your, uh, your Des Res in Miami, watching my videos. Overlooking the sea. And you're thinking, look at this idiot. What's he doing? Oh, they're calling that Bishop's Gate in there. That's interesting. Oh, my hands are freezing. Slowing down now, slowing down for the crossing traffic of the building site. Forehead very cold. I can put my hood up. Ugh. That might help. And I'm just slowing down. There's a little doggy ahead. No traffic behind pulling out. Hi. He was nice. He, he gave me a smile. Even though I look like a, a hoodie, like I'm going to rob him. He gave me a nice little smile. Ooh. Ooh, I'll suit you, sir. Come around the bend here. This will all be ice in a few uh, few weeks' time. Coming back into Beverly now. Giving that guy a little nod. I know I'm looking like an absolute idiot with my, <laughs> my hood inflated. But it's keeping me a little bit warm, so I'm keeping it on. Coming round now. You'll see a nice shot of the uh, Minster. There's the Minster, one of my favourite buildings. Our bar. Oh. Whoops. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Hurt my leg there. Yeah, we covered that nicely. Don't think anyone noticed. What happened there was, as I stepped off, the bike went to the other side. I'm not quite tall enough to get my feet down. And then I got cramp in my calf. It all happened at once. Don't you worry, you, you, you sit back, have another Tia Maria. I'll worry about this, don't you worry about this, okay? And we're nearly back now, and here we are coming back in. Coming back into Beverly now, where we began. I'll just do an indication, let people know where I'm going. And then go down here. Oh. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.